Most of these pirates have always made their living on the seas, but before they were fishermen, not hijackers and thieves. In a country with no real government and intense poverty, it isn't hard to see how they're adding to the ranks. We work together and our ranks grow because there is more hunger and more skills. That is what causes more people to join piracy. Piracy is growing faster, but it is not something that is lessening. The world cannot do anything about it. In the past year, the pirates have collected an estimated $150 million in ransoms. And while there are international warships patrolling the area, all the technology in the world can't monitor every inch of these waters. And the pirates know it. Tactically, they're very good. And so once they get to a point where they can board, it becomes very difficult to get them off because clearly now they hold hostages. Coalition forces won't board a hijacked ship for fear of harming the hostages. This map maintained by the International Maritime Bureau shows every pirate attack and there have been more than 90 this year. More than 35 of them successful hijackings. Adding just the past week, at least five incidents in the Gulf of Aden with 28 people taken hostage. So how do the pirates, often traveling in scrappy looking boats no bigger than a car, manage to overpower some of the biggest ships at sea? Weapons including RPGs, which could blow up a tanker. And even if ships have security guards, they're often unarmed. The International Maritime Organization strongly discourages weapons on board merchant ships. Security expert Will Geddes says these pirates are also masters of disguise. They can either pretend to be officials uh, that are seeking to board the actual ship for inspections, uh, they can masquerade as uh, Coast Guard. The other sobering and powerful point in their favor, the pirates know that right now they have the upper hand. Erica Hill, CNN, New York.